Hello there, guys. Welcome back to another short online tutorial with myself, Jack, one of the tutors at Blue Sky Graphics. Today, we are focusing on Illustrator, and we are here today to discuss how would we create a Mandela shape like the one you see in front of you. It's a very, very easy thing to do, but you could use it across many different forms of graphic design, ranging from patterns all the way through to logo design. Now, what I'm going to do is show you how to build this particular shape in front of you. But what I would love for you to do is for you to create your own and for you to delve into your amazing creative genius to create your own styles. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do today is use our selection tool and select everything because I want to resize this. Just put this to the corner just so that I can use it as a, uh, a template for me to work from. I want to resize this proportionately. So if I press shift, that will allow me to do so. And if I press option on the Mac or alt on Windows, I can resize from the center. Perfect. What I'm gonna do now is put our friend up there and start to create. So the first thing I'm going to do is use our rectangle tool here. I would love to create a perfect proportionate square. So what I must do whilst using the tool is press shift. Now with this little blue circle in the center here, what I'm gonna do is duplicate this exact shape by pressing option on the Mac or Alt on Windows, like so. And as you can see now, I have the same shape, but twice. You'll notice when we select our shape using the selection tool, we have these circles in the corner, which is telling us we can now round off our corners, like so. If you would like to round off just one corner, I'm just gonna click that. And as you can see, that is now blue. These are white. So if I now was to bring that down, so I can just round off that particular corner. But what I'd actually like to do is round off two. So what I'd need to do is click this, make sure it's blue and selected. And to select this one here, I'm going to press shift and then click like so. And what I'm gonna do now is bring those two corners in together like so to create this shape. So if I go back to my original, what I'm going to do is click this one here, press shift and click that one there and press shift and click that one there. And yet again, let's bring all these into the center. Perfect. So now we have the two basis uh, shapes that we need to create. So what I'm now going to do is select both shapes like so and using our alignment tools, I'm going to align horizontally and align vertically. Now, when I select everything, you'll notice I have this little shape here and I actually don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is use my shape builder tool here. By default, we can build shapes using this tool, but I actually wanna remove this element here. So if you hover over, you can see I have the ability now to build or remove. So if I now press option on the Mac or Alt on Windows and click, I can now remove that and I have the perfect shape that I need. So let's resize this so we can see what we're doing. Okay, perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is select everything like so and go right click, transform, and I'm going to reflect it. I want to reflect it vertically first of all, but I'm not gonna press okay, I'm gonna press copy. Now what that will do is it will copy the commandment I'm trying to do, reflect it vertically whilst keeping the original shape. So if I now move this across, pressing shift to keep it nice and straight within line, now I have these two shapes. What I'm now going to do is select both, like so. Yet again, I'm going to right click and I can transform and I can reflect. But this time I would like to reflect horizontally, please. And yet again, I'm not going to press OK. I'm going to press copy. Fantastic. Now let's move this down into place. Yet again, pressing shift, keep it nice in line. Good stuff. Now, yet again, with my selection tool, I'm gonna to select absolutely everything that I've created and I'm gonna manually rotate this. So if we hover to the corner and I press shift, you'll give me a nice rotation. Okay, so with everything selected now, what I'm going to do is right click, transform, and I'm gonna rotate it. Now, when I rotate this, this will rotate on its own center point, dependent upon what angle I put in. So I'm gonna stick with 30 degrees here 
And yet again, I'm not going to press OK. I'm going to press Copy. And as you can see now, it's rotated it 30 degrees and gave me a copy and kept the original shape. Now, what I can do is use a shortcut called Command D. And what Command D will do is continue that transformation, i.e. rotate it 30 degrees, but copy. So now what I'm going to do is press Command D on the Mac and Control uh, or Control D on Windows to continue and finish my shape. And then what I can do is use my selection tool and select everything like so. And now I have my Mandela, which you can fill with colors, duplicate, change, everything like so. Guys, thank you very much for listening to me today. If you're interested in finding out more about Blue Sky Graphics um, and the courses that we offer, please, please visit our website at www.blueskygraphics.co.uk. You can also see the amazing work our students uh, do on our Instagram page, and you can find that at Blue Sky Graphics UK. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.